revenue would be decreasing. Um, I mean, couldn't, I mean, it shows a correlation, but I don't think it shows a causation, because, no. because, um, I mean, the govern government, government expenditures it almost always goes up in recessionary times. Right. So, so, I mean, I see. You're, you're with the causation correlation uh, paradox. You're wondering if that's truly what's causing it. Right. right. Uh, there's, what's kind of funny in terms of economics is you always get the, well, the correlation doesn't equal causation. Well, okay, prove it. Well, there's really no way to prove it. I mean, then you can, you can get into the cheat test and things like that and talk about statistical significance. I'm going based on logic that if the public sector grows and the public sector really doesn't produce anything to the point where from 3% of our economy to about almost 45% now, that's probably going to at least going to have some statistical significance to it. Uh, but do I, did I run the cheat test and the, 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 um, the p-values? No. And I, frankly, I'm too lazy to, and I know it's true. It's, you know, someone else, someone else can prove me wrong on it if they want to, but uh, it, it stands to reason uh, very well that if the public sector grows and grows and grows and is a non-producing entity, then the private sector is going to uh, take a hit. Yes? Uh, this is probably a little bit more specialized, but yeah. I'm interested in nursing, and that's what I want to do after school. Okay. However, I've had some of my, well, not my advisors, but I've heard from people in the market that it's harder for entry level nurses or even healthcare professionals to mm -hmm. get in because of the recession. The retired nurses or doctors are going back into the board. Right, so right. Kind of, there's that log jam there, right. And yeah, and that's true, but. Uh, Use again the starting salary. In the, in the book, I think it's like 2010, use your starting salaries. Keep an eye on the starting salaries because that will show your starting salaries will start to go down, uh, adjusted for inflation, of course. Uh, but that being said, nursing, I still think, is one of the best fields for people to go into. It's like pharmacy and um, uh, an engineering type field. Uh, and if you get into like a specialty like, I think, anesthesiology or um, a, a, a surgeon nurse, whatever they call that, I don't know what they call that. But if you can look at blood and guts and not pass out, you know, all more parts. Yeah, I can't do it, but... Uh, so again, the specialty or the concentration will, will help there in your certification. You know, and unfortunately, that's one of those fields where there's going to be a ton of certifications, but in the medical field, you need those so you don't kill anyone accidentally. Oops, wrong drug. But you know that's Yes? I guess I'm joining them because I'm an education major. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you're screwed. You're, why is he you're screwed? There we go. All right. Therapy, but it's like around four years of no, no. It, it you're doubling down on a, a worthless field on top of it. Now you bring up a great you bring up a, a great point that you know I know that the public sector is growing and I show that here and I said even go join the dark side of the force if you want to have that kind of you know stable employment. But if you look at places like Stockton, California, I think there's another place in Alabama, Riverside, California. What do these towns have in common? They're going bankrupt. And not only, not just the private sector, but the public sector will also run out of money. So if you, you know, as you mentioned before, people are getting laid off because the, the property tax values just isn't there to fund the school for these next couple of years. Um, but you're still in that touchy-feely speech therapy and you're gonna be dependent upon government, nonprofit type money coming in. Um, you know, I would, do you like working on motorcycles? <laughs> It's fun. I mean, do, I mean, what else do you like to do? Because, you know, your, your degree in education will get you into a school. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, the master's, gosh, you, you're going to pay through the nose depending on where you go. And then what's the starting salary after that? Uh, it, it may not be worth it to, uh, to, to pay that. But I'm not terribly familiar. I mean, what would you do with a master's in speech therapy? Um, Medical or what? Well, you can do both, like, you can work in a school system specialized, or you can work on your own, like your own practice, or you can work in a hospital and work with actual okay. people coming back from strokes or like being. Right. Well, I mean, what you can do, and this is what everyone should do, is, is do the research. You got, you guys got the interwebs. You know, that's great. We didn't have the interwebs. We had the library, and then the interwebs developed like my last year and a half in college. So it was, and it sucked. It was like three things on the internet. And, that's where you could actually see everything on the internet in a day. It's like, okay, there it is, there it is, and then, okay, that was it. Um, 
But uh, go and do the research, find out what the starting salary is. I mean, you'll be able to find out, and maybe there's like, you know, high demand. But speech therapy just sounds to me to be kind of one of the, you know, oh, I want to work with kids or musical therapy or something like that. Otherwise, you know, you can always marry an economist. <laughs> a bad boy motorcycle riding economist. That's what the. <laughs> Sturgis someday, and he'll be pumping iron. And I'll see him, and then we're going to go do shots of rumplements and ride really fast in Van Ocker Canyon. That's what. <laughs> Any other questions? No? Okay, good. Well, you guys go home or to dorm, go dorm, and then uh, feel free to look me up on the interwebs if you have any more questions. And tell people about the book.